Hello everyone, my name is Ryan. A lot of you online may know me as John Doe, right here in Tokyo, Japan. Now, probably a lot of you have already heard this, seen this news, but um, the head of the Nuclear Regulatory Agency here in Japan, Mr. Shinichi Kenjo, I believe, has declared that Japan is in a state of emergency concerning Fukushima. Now, why is he saying this? Well, he's saying this because the impenetrable wall that was very hastily built when TEPCO first noticed that they were having um, contaminated water leaks. Yeah, the water has uh, apparently breached that impenetrable barrier, and now it's um, rising. The water supply, the underground water is rising up, and it's going to be flown over that hill, down into the plant even more faster in the coming days, possibly weeks. I'm not exactly sure. This is pretty serious. An uncontrolled flow of water into a highly radiated um, plant like Fukushima that already has melted cores in it. It's going to be really bad, okay? I mean, I'm struggling to find the right words to describe just how serious this situation could possibly become. Now, when we get into this impenetrable wall business, well, I'll look this up, and it comes to find out that they, when they hastily built this, they actually made the situation worse. Now, the material they injected into the, um, right above the um, water table was something called water glass. Water glass is kind of an alkaline type of substance. It's super hard. It's very, very uh, useful when you're trying to stop stuff from moving. And apparently this worked too well. It worked so well that it stopped the water from having anywhere to go. So what does it do? The water table keeps increasing, of course. And it got pressure, pressure builds. It's broke through this barrier. Now, how long has this been going on? Well, we can't be exactly sure because, of, as usual... Like I just said in my previous video, the Nuclear Regulatory Agency here in Japan, the new one, is allowing TEPCO to do things on their own. And if there's any type of problem, TEPCO reports it. Now, TEPCO can, of course, delay reporting any problems. TEPCO can have ample time to cover crap up and not be very forthcoming. Now, this uh, Shinichi also said that this is a prime example of exactly why TEPCO cannot handle this problem on their own. And this is very clear from what we see here. You know, this is pretty serious at this point. And yeah, we can say that we are in a state of emergency. This is a crisis. And the one thing that I think was most biting with this gentleman's comments was when he said, TEPCO can't handle this. You know, this situation is out of control. And I think it's one of the most honest things I've heard come out of any Japanese official concerning Fukushima. I mean, this is, is real pretty bad. So spread this video around. I'll put some links to uh, some information concerning some of the things I talked about in the um, description box of this video. If you ain't subscribed yet, man, go ahead. Please do, so you can keep up all the stuff going on here. That a lot of the, a lot of the mainstream media, their sweeps under the rug, doesn't report, or reports only in passing. So until next time, this is me, Ryan, in Japan. Checking out.